Inventing Anna is in the top 10 most watched shows on Netflix. It's a captivating series about a fake German heiress who manipulated her way into elite New York City social circles, fooling some of the top business investors in New York. One of Anna Delvey's real life victims is Rachel Deloach Williams, who's from Knoxville. I sat down with her to discuss how she's feeling after one of the hardest times in her life was made into a Netflix show for millions to see. I grew up here, I went to Sequoia Elementary, Bearden Middle, and West High School. Rachel Deloach Williams never imagined when she moved from Tennessee to New York and worked her way up to photo editor at Vanity Fair that her life would soon become tabloid fodder and eventually a Netflix series. But that was the unfortunate result of her friendship with fake German heiress Anna Delvey. Rachel says she was intrigued when she initially met Anna. So there's something that pulls you in because it's enigmatic or mysterious or like you can't figure out what the deal is. But while you're sort of fixating on that, there's something deeper happening and that's how the con works. And Rachel says she was conned during a fabulous over-the-top vacation to Morocco, where Anna was supposed to foot the bill. The cavalier disregard for the way that money was spent was very unique to Anna. Like, even when we got there, she had signed up for tennis lessons every morning, or like she... She found ways to spend money that I would never have thought of, and I also didn't participate in. You know, it was very much like I'm aware of myself as a guest. Rachel says Anna was having credit card issues, so she put her card down for a temporary hold at the Lux Hotel. But the entire $60,000 hotel bill ended up on Rachel's personal card. There, of course, things unfolded in a way I never anticipated, but it wasn't until after I was gone that I even knew my credit cards could sustain that kind of a debt. Then came the mind-numbing communication back and forth where Rachel tries to recoup her losses. Give me back that money, please. Why are you being like this so dramatic? And Anna makes excuse after excuse and ultimately never pays her back. Rachel says she was traumatized. I started to write because after realizing that this person I'd spent however many months with thinking that she was my friend, when I realized that it was all this illusion and it, like the charade and I was kind of just drowning in information. So she wrote a book, My Friend Anna, The True Story of a Fake Heiress. Rachel's account of what happened. And then came the Netflix series. Inventing Anna has all the makings of a binge-worthy series. It's flashy, sensational, and true. Except for all the parts that are totally made up, as stated at the beginning of every episode. So I think the way that they've blended fact and fiction together is particularly dangerous, and it's effectively how misinformation is born. In the series, Rachel comes off as a clueless New Yorker who enjoys the luxe life being a friend of Anna Delvey affords like they took my name and then stuffed every offensive thing they could about being a young white woman um, and a, in a show that's trying to make a commentary about privilege. Uh, they basically just used my character to represent so many different things and in such a heavy-handed way that it's, you know, it is almost cartoonish, but it's still very damaging. And if you're going to dramatize something, I think, where you choose to leave names intact, you also have to leave facts intact. And she objects to Anna's Robin Hood depiction as well very irresponsible for Netflix, I think, to, to be telling it in this way, celebrating somebody who is so callous, you know, so callous in their willingness to take advantage of people around them, to manipulate them for their own greedy end goals. Rachel says she is doing really well now and has learned a very valuable lesson. What I didn't realize is that when you give someone your time and attention, that's the act of being influenced, whether or not you realize it at the time. Because if you're paying attention to one thing, you're not paying attention to something else. So I didn't realize how much I had been investing in, in her and our friendship without my even knowing it. I hold firmer limits, I set boundaries. I'm, I'm more aware of, of uh, time and privacy as, as very valuable things to me. And, and you know, I'm much more careful with who I let into my innermost circle, I'd say. Uh, I did reach out to Netflix and Anna Delvey for comment, and I didn't hear back from either of them by airtime. Rachel, by the way, wrote a book about her experience with Anna Delvey called My Friend Anna, The True Story of a Fake Heiress. It became a New York Times bestseller. The paperback version is out now. Which you've read, and you say it's good to read the book because, like you said, it's her version. And she is portrayed very differently in the show. When I initially saw that this story was coming out, I thought it was going to be based off of her book, and it very much is not.
And I haven't read the book, and so my opinion that I was kind of forming of her when I watched the show is a little different than when you hear her interview and her side of it. Absolutely. That's yeah. why you need both sides, that's yeah. for sure. And I, I recommend the read. It is a really yeah. good book.